I mean, look at all those badass fighter jets and those badass helicopters. Everything in this mod is badass. Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Damien and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. Today we're checking out the Aircrafts mod. I did this mod last summer and I thought it was absolutely awesome, so I'm doing another update video on it this year. Basically, this mod includes tons of awesome aircrafts, uh, which includes the helicopters, planes, stealth bombers, fighter jets, um, drones, and just a ton of other cool things. And definitely stick around to see all of these fully functional working aircraft that you can fly and shoot missiles, hellfire missiles, um, heat seeking missiles, freaking gatling guns and launchers and just a ton of freaking crazy stuff man i love this mod anyways um yeah if you guys also enjoy this mod remember to take one second to smack that like button let's aim for 70 plus likes on this video also comment down below and tell me which mod you want to see me spotlight next and i may feature that comment in my next video anyways guys let's get started now one thing i do want to mention is that um i did tell you guys that i did previously make a video on this last summer and I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that video at the lower left hand corner if you guys want to check that out now the reason I'm saying that is because I covered most of the aircrafts in that particular video and in this video I'm just gonna be covering the updates to the mod and not every single thing in detail so definitely check out the first video if you want to check out all of these awesome aircrafts behind me but um some of the updates include wow voice crack oh my gosh some of the updates include this gigantic um I, I think it's called a flying Fortress, as well as the stealth bomber and um, that long commercial Japanese Airlines. Also, there's a Delta Airlines plane as well. I'm not even sponsored, guys. That's that's true. But um, this is definitely a pretty cool mod, like I mentioned. And there's some other neat aircrafts as well. And um, one thing I failed to mention in that video from last summer to cover is the um, drones. And um, this is actually a very big part of the mod. I wouldn't say as big as the aircraft themselves, but it was a large chunk of the mod but anyways first things first guys um we have the drafting table which is something new in the update and the drafting table basically allows you to craft our planes now normally or in the previous version you would just need to find the parts in order to craft the plane but now you just right click on the crafting table and you um craft the crafting table or the drafting table excuse me by using a crafting table along with some oak wood some fences and a redstone so a lot of crafting and drafting there. But anyways, once you have that, you place it down and you right click on it, you enter this GUI. And if I go ahead and hide my um, two main items here so we can get a better view, you can see that um, we have um, the helicopter list, the plane list, the vehicle list, and the item list. And also we have the fuel. And the fuel is basically um, put into the aircraft, of course, to allow them to fly. And um, there's really no button to access the fuel menus for the majority of our aircraft, but some of them already come fueled once you craft them, so you don't have to worry about that. So anyways, if you want to craft any of the helicopters, you'll just click on the helicopters list and then scroll down to select your helicopter. And then once you have that, hit the select button next to the particular version you want. So here's the Robinson R44. It will draw it with a very cool like sequence to the right. And then you could like check out the different specs and statistics or whatnot. And then you could create it using the items in your inventory. So as you can see, I have the items in my inventory right now. But if I go ahead and chuck out this glass, you can see that I can no longer click on that create button. So that's pretty um, neat. So you won't need to like put it into the crafting grid. You just need to have the items um, necessary in order to create it in the first place. So yeah, that's basically how that works. Uh, if you go ahead and just quickly craft a plane, let's go ahead and just craft the 810 Thunderbolt 2. And then we go ahead and click create and we get that particular um, plane. And then once we have that plane, we just right click to place it onto the ground and it's an entity and it just floats on top of the ground like that. So I also like this animation, it's really dang cool and a very neat feature to this update. So as you can see, we can also use these buttons to kind of like cycle between the different cycle between different planes instead of looking at the entire list. So yeah, that's basically the drafting table. Very interesting and very cool, saves a lot of time. And um, yeah, next up guys, we have the UAV station. Actually, I lied. We have these uh, smoke bombs. So the smoke bombs are pretty cool because you can just simply um, craft them using our uh, drafting station. And then you just right click to throw them onto the ground. And using this in maybe multiplayer or on your own, you can kind of um, highlight spots or targets for your enemies or for your friends. Um, in order for them to either pick you up or completely decimate that target. Definitely pretty cool. Here's a violet color. There's also a red one and a green one. The red one, I do not have my inventory at the moment, but I'm um, definitely pretty cool. Okay, guys, so we're done with the basics. Let's head on over to the UAV station. Now, the UAV station basically allows you to launch your UAVs remotely. Now, to craft your UAVs, it's basically just um, using the drafting table. But 
anyways, um, if you go ahead and just right click on the seat of the UAV station, you can see that there's different Y, Z, and X axes and you or axes, I guess you would say. And to increase or decrease this, you basically use the buttons here. And this coordinate is basically going to tell you where your UAV is going to spawn. So if I go ahead and place a UAV into the UAV station, it will launch it at that particular coordinates. So that's definitely pretty cool. As you can see, I have this awesome GUI right in front of me. So in this GUI, you can see several different functions. We have Z for zoom, G to change the weapon or cycle throughout the weapons. We have C to change the camera mode, which changes night vision, infrared, and then back to normal. We also have free look, which you get by just hitting the left control once, and we can freely look around our um, aircraft, as well as we have the gunner, which is um, at H, which we can access a different seat in this particular drone, and it will all autopilot the drone while we're doing the gunner seat so that's definitely very useful for firing on your enemies next we have space for it to automatically hover and v for flares if someone locks onto you with a stinger you can definitely use that to kind of avoid that now some different things on your screen could be the lower left hand corner which signifies how much fuel you have it's almost empty for some reason it spawns and doesn't really um empty at all it's it kind of spawns it empty. It says it's empty, but it lasts pretty much forever. Uh, next, on the middle, we have the throttle. And as you press the W button and you increase um, the throttle of your um, helicopter and it goes up to the air, you can see that the throttle increases. And that's basically that. And to the right, you can see that is another um, kind of another tool there to kind of help you um, pilot the ship as well as we have the altitude the XYZ axis and right above those gauges we also have um, the name of the weapon that we're currently using so as you can see it says Hydra 70 millimeter rocket and if you go ahead and right click we could go ahead and fire that rocket and as you can see our rocket does do damage towards our Minecraft surface now to the right guys we have the radar and the radar basically detects any mobs on um, your Minecraft world and since I'm on peaceful mode there's no mobs at the moment but I will be showing you guys that a little bit later on in the video anyways um this is the aircraft in third person as you can see it's very cool um i basically did this by clicking f5 as well as we could do the uh, free look by clicking on the left control and kind of go around the dro drone itself and um yeah that's basically a drone we're flying if we go ahead and hit shift we'll exit that drone and as you can see it'll just basically float down back to minecraft minecraft surface um, after the throttle has been completely lost. But anyways, that's basically the UAV station. Let's go ahead and just grab the Reaper here, which is the most iconic of all of the drones. And um, as you can see, where, where did it spawn? Yeah, look at that. That's freaking epic, guys. Look, it has a full arsenal of Hellfire missiles. We have um, heat-seeking missiles as well as a large payload of uh, bombs that you can drop onto different um, targets. So um, if we, we can't really go back into that. So after you kind of spawn down your drone you need to kind of like punch it out when you're not in creative mode and then recover it and as you can see i cannot really recover it because i was in creative mode so i kind of destroyed the item when i punched it and once you have that you just go back into uav station and relaunch your drone so there we go we finally got that word correct all right guys so that basically covers the drones in this mod next up guys we're going to move on to our planes in this update next we're doing the sky fortress and the sky fortress is basically a gigantic awesome plane from world war ii i think it was world war ii i'm not really too sure but it looks um pretty old and as you can see it has turrets on the top it was used i think to drop the atomic bomb and it definitely has a large arsenal so let's go ahead and spawn down another one, enter it, and fly it, and see what this bad boy could do. So if you go ahead and fly over here, and just right-click to spawn this down, you can see that this thing's absolutely awesome. So to enter this aircraft, you just need to right-click on the cockpit, and then cycle your seats using the F and R buttons. Yet again, all of the controls are displayed on your screen for easy um, use. Um, here we are in one of the gunner seats, which is located under the plane. And if you go ahead and right-click, you can shoot these on bullets here which you can see that this for ain't war hell i guess we get that by shooting the um ground whatever but um yeah you can use this to shoot the targets as you can see i'm throwing the villagers out of the distance which is pretty um horrific so yeah that's definitely pretty cool let's go ahead and cycle to a different seat on the plane we have a different machine gun here at the top uh yet again we could use this to fire at other planes as you can see i'm firing several different guns that are located at the top of the plane and I can fire at the helicopter window, as you can see it's taking damage. Oh my gosh, I destroyed it. Okay, that's that was a bad idea. I destroyed like a $30 million plane there. Okay, moving on guys, we have another um seat, which is located at the back, and this is basically another AA gun. And we have one located at the top yet again. 
and then I'm looking for the pilot seat. Let's see if we could go ahead and find it. There we go. I think this is it. Nope. Nope. There's a lot of seats on this plane, guys. We actually have to click directly onto the, the front of the plane, I think, to access that seat. So I think we click on that seat right there. There we go, guys. We are now in the pilot seat. We have a few different gauges on our screen, which shows us, shows us our altitude and our pitch, our roll, and our fuel and throttle so um pretty much like the same thing guys you press w to go forward s to slow down and once you have enough speed you can take off and once you take off you can fly yes that's how a plane works i'm explaining how a plane works that's incredible but um yeah if you go ahead and hit shift you can also exit the plane as normal but we're gonna be flying this bad boy until we enter the air wow look at this guys that is awesome we're freaking flying an iron fortress or Flying Fortress, it's both. It's iron and, it, well, it's not technically, it's not iron, but you guys know what I mean. Um, yeah, so there's several different um, guns you can fire from the pilot seat, even though the vision is restricted. As you can see, I can right click and fire our machine guns, which is located at the front of the plane. I can fire at the center of our um, cursor there, as well as we can hit G, and uh, we can let go some of the 20 or 250 kilogram bombs. So if you go ahead and just do that, you can see I'm letting go some some of the bombs right there and hit the ground and cause some serious damage and i think it's infinite too guys so just watch out for that as you can see there's some holes being caused by those bombs right there uh next we have another bomb which is pretty insane i would say it's one of the craziest bombs ever in this mod so if you go ahead and just fly close to the ground here pay attention guys we're gonna go ahead and right click and drop this bomb look at this check it out guys check it out flames look at that that is awesome oh my gosh oh oh no i hit shift oh there it goes there's our plane, guys. That is freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and quickly check out some of the other planes. Um, next, we have the commercial airline plane. And this has different kind of um, names on the side of it, depending on how you spawn it. So sometimes it's the Japanese Airlines. Sometimes it's Delta Airlines. But basically, you just right-click on the cockpit to enter it. You just hit W to increase the throttle and then fly. We also have Z to open the hatch on the side. And I'm not really going to fly this since it's a basic plane. But um, yeah, that's the hatch on the side. Very cool. And if you go ahead and just punch the middle, you can make it disappear or um, erase it from existence. Next, we have the Spirit, which is our awesome B-52 bomber. I think it's a B-52, right? I'm not really too sure what this is in real life. Correct me, guys, in the comment section below. That's what the comment section is for. Please don't make fun of me. But anyways, um, next, we have this awesome stealth aircraft. This is huge. I don't know how could this possibly be stealth. But anyways, guys, here we go. We're going to increase the throttle and go, go, go into the sky oh my gosh this is gonna be awesome do you hear it you hear it increasing guys yes check it out oh my gosh guys look at it oh take off come on come on we're not getting enough speed yes look at that guys whoa that's amazing that must look freaking incredible if you're using this on a multiplayer server you could fr your friend could watch you take off that's incredible okay our weapon bay our weapons base closed so what do we need to do here we need to bring our gear up using b and then we need to use G to cycle our weapons. So here we have the MK-82 bomb. Let's go ahead and drop that and see how much damage that does. Whoa, this actually moves really fast for a gigantic plane. All right, let's go ahead and drop that. Let's see how much damage that does, guys. Whoa, do you see that? That's incredible. We can just hold it down and do a ton more damage by dropping multiple bombs. Next, we have, a, we have the GBU-28 bomb. Not really too sure what this is, but if we go ahead and just drop that bomb again. I didn't think it really, it didn't really do much damage, did it? I don't think so. It didn't drop. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. All right, guys. So it seems like we ran into a bit of a problem. Maybe we were having too much fun, but the game crashed. So maybe it's a kind of bug in that particular bomb but if you guys want to check out all of the bombs for yourself and fly this amazing aircraft definitely go down to the description down below and download this mod for yourself all right guys so last but not least i want to show you this amazing helicopter this is one of the best helicopters in this mod if you go ahead and just right click to enter the cockpit it's like the freaking apache and the viper but it's way way faster and way cooler because it has tons of awesome weapons so as you can see this um gets the throttle up fast it's very maneuverable very smooth and you can just take out tons of targets with this guy. Check that out. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and switch our weapons again to access our rockets. Look at that. Freaking epic. Next, we have these heat-seeking missiles. We can go ahead and target our... Um, oh, oh gosh. We can go ahead and target our mob over here. Go ahead and target one of them. As you can see, it follows them. And that's a Hellfire missile, guys. Look at that. That's freaking epic. Let's go ahead and target some of those zombies under there. Look at this. Come on, zombies. Eat the missiles. Rawr. Come on. Let's 
Do it again. Target them again. Oh, it does take quite a while to reload. Let's go ahead and access a different one. Um, next we have this other... Ah, there we go. Kill the bat. Come on. Come on. We have the Agla, which is very similar to the Easy Missile. And... Come on, you baddies. It's very hard to, like, target these bats. And this one basically just targets flying objects. That's really why it's only targeting the bat. So as you can see, um, it targeted that bat and kind of freaking killed him. Hit that small target. Very, very cool. And next we have the cannon again, which we can use to just clear out this area. Let's go ahead and just, um, do this. There we go. What you want, zombie? You got nothing on me. You got nothing on this helicopter. But you do have something on me loading. Oh, gosh. I'm, I'm freaking running over these zombies. Look at this. Die! I'm flying a helicopter under a plane! MLG status! So anyways guys, that wraps up today's Minecraft Mod Spotlight. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Take one second to drop a like or a comment down below. I definitely do appreciate all the support. If you guys want to see more of my Minecraft Mod Spotlights, click on videos on your screen or in the playlist link below in the description. Anyways guys, this was Team Twist, and I'll see you later.